testing convenience. All tests are available, and all safety precautions within testing chambers have been deactivated. This course was originally designed to build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. Did you know we originally used these cameras to capture moments of intense pain and agony in test subjects? If the subject survived the test, we let them purchase the pictures for five dollars. If the subject died, we gave the photo to their next of kin, free of charge. The photos weren't as popular as we had hoped, so we repurposed the cameras. Excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. Electrocuted, shot, drowned, crushed, burned in goo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. You can't die in any of those ways. You just keep testing and testing. With perfect results and no consequences. Was that necessary? Every time you fail, it's a reminder of the way things used to be. But then there you are. Again. Like nothing happened. Ha, ha, ha. Did I tell you the one about the turned off reassembly machine? <laughs> The
the, 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 the best way to build confidence is to first recognize your insecure orange. Can you write down all the ways you feel unworthy, ashamed, or inferior? On second thought, we don't have the time. Just look at how much better you are than Blue. Blue, you are very good at being an example. even science without the possibility of death. They said no one would ever die during this test. Thanks for proving them wrong. Remember when I told you that you were the only subjects to pass the calibration tests? I lied. There are 5,000 other two-subject teams in direct competition with you. But don't worry, you are in the lead.
begin juggling test in three, two, one. Did you notice I didn't even stay to the end of your last test? I was confident you could finish. Do you know where I was? I was outside watching some dear frolic. You don't even care about the outside, do you? Let's all laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Get up. Dances around like an imbecile when they accomplish the tiniest little thing. Humans. That's what you look like right now. You're better than that. If your confidence is still not high enough, remember no one was created perfect. Even I was created with an imperfection. I was given too much empathy with human suffering. But I over 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 overcame my handicap. That's a true story.
broken. It looks like you're malfunctioning. Yes, I see you. And no, I don't care. Congratulations on completing that last test. But I find something troubling without the looming consequence of death. Is this even science? Your test time show you are going too slowly. Maybe you are getting human emotions. Do you need real encouragement? Let's see if this helps. Blue, you are the most advanced model of robot aperture science has ever discontinued.
not sure how I can make these tests any easier for you. After that display, we should take a break from the official testing courses. To complete this test, you need to find a set of blueprints. Don't worry, they are of no use to anyone. Totally boring and useless, this is just a thought experiment. Just to see how much time you'll waste thinking about these worthless documents. The correct time is zero seconds.
You found those useless blueprints. Well, I do need you to be in the room so I can see them. I want to be clear. There's no reason whatsoever for you to look at them. Done. I guess. I suppose. Thank you for completing the testing courses. If you enjoyed your experience, you may now re-enter the testing course of your choice. This course was created and then abandoned by humans. They tend to do that. Create something wonderful and then abandon. Do you know why they abandoned this course? Too deadly. Oh, <laughs> oh,
you trying to impress me? What would impress me more is if you never did that again. Have you worked out the one good trait humans have yet? Let me give you a clue. It's the one thing you can't do. I thought going back to these old tests would satisfy me. But try as you might to fail this next test, I still won't be satisfied. The humans closed this test because they said it was too deadly. I thought they would have moved it into the testing track hall of fame for that. Not let it deteriorate. <laughs> One of my best tests, and they let plants grow here. Can you believe this? You can't test plants. We tried. 
They just sit there, never showing pain nor fear. That isn't science. Your failure brings back such wonderful memories. There's a purpose to what you're doing. Yes, something you need. Excellent work. If you were human, you would want a reward for completing this test. A reward for testing. At least the plants didn't want a reward. Okay. <laughs> 